Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over my top five purchases of 2022. So I've split this into two categories because I couldn't split the stable mates from the traditional models. But before we get into them, I do want to give a shout out to a few honourable mentions that didn't quite make the list this year. To get us started, I have a model that actually should be in my top five, but I kind of forgot that I owned him. Uh, this is Dominante, the 2019 regular run, and I call him Gucci, and his show name is It's All Gucci. Um, he was a model that I actually bought two of at the time, so that I could choose which one I liked the most and take to my first live show last year, and he qualified for BMX, so that was really cool, and that's why he is one of my honourable mentions. Next we have a special run from Rayfest 2020. This is Lou and he is just stunning. Um, I adore bays, as you all know, and gloss, so he kind of ticks two boxes there already. Uh, the mould itself is really nostalgic for me. I grew up watching the Dark Knight series on YouTube by Cinema Mew Mew, so I wanted to start a conga on this mould forever. <laughs> While I was scrolling IDYB one day, I just came across him, put him in my ISO on Instagram and kind of had him within the week. So that was a really cool development. Um, but overall, the mold is absolutely gorgeous. The color is fantastic. And that is why he is my honorable mention. My final honorable mention goes to the Renish Draft model from Rarefest 2022. I call this guy Prince and I actually didn't want to get him to begin with. Uh, they released that he was a glossy matte split during Breyfest weekend, so I kind of felt like my hands were tied and I had spare money to spend, so why not just throw my hat in the ring for it? Even though I didn't particularly like the mould from what I'd seen online and I didn't own any or had seen any actually in person, so it was a huge surprise when he came and I actually really liked him. He's kind of changed my mind on the mould altogether and I'm looking forward to getting more in the future. My favourite thing about him is the way he goes from light to dark in all the right places. I think they really nailed the paint job and yep, yeah, he's just one of my favourites now. Starting with the stable mates and in fourth place we have... Atley, who was the Gambler's Choice model for the Stablemate Club last year, so 2022. She came in a range of natural colours that honestly I would have preferred, but I got the decorator one and honestly she's really starting to grow on me. I adore her colour and I think the mould itself is just super cute. She's the first one I've had on this mould and she's just so tiny and colourful and she's just great. So she is my number four for this year. Moving on to third place, you can already see him in the corner there. This is Kit and he also came from the 2022 Stablemates Club. He was the new mould release for last year and he comes in this really nice clipped Palomino colour and he is meant to represent a Halflinger. I really love him, mostly because of the stars that he has clipped into his coat. Uh, it just gives me a lot of nostalgia. Uh, I can't wait to see what colours Brea release on this mould next. In to second place, we have got Guinevere, who is another Stablemate Club model, but this time she is from 2019. Uh, so she's a bit of an older one but I absolutely adore her. It was the gloss that first kind of caught my eye and then when she came I couldn't believe the amount of detail. She has really nice dappling throughout her entire coat, a cute little pink nose and also the world's tiniest hoof stripes so she definitely earned her second place position. Finally, first place for last year, my top purchase stablemate wise is the decorator fireheart unicorn model this guy is just astounding i mean look at him he is like purple and blue metallic um super glossy the black is really black and overall i think he just looks super fierce and fun i don't have any models on the traditional state sorry the traditional fireheart mold but he kind of makes up for it i kind of feel like part of the gang with him um 
yeah, definitely my favourite stable mate from last year. So that's my top four stable mate purchases for the year. It was definitely a year of palominos and decorators for me. I feel like not just in the stable mate scale, but traditional scale as well. Speaking of the traditionals, let's get on to my top five traditional purchases of 2022. So in fifth place is a model that has a little bit of a story behind him. So this is Templado and Templado was actually my first briar ever and the one that I had as a child I still have today but unfortunately I did break his leg and he has a load of damage that just doesn't qualify him really for showing which is what I really want to do. So I decided to buy another one of him who is in brilliant condition and yep so I now have two Templados but they're my favourite so I'm not too worried and hopefully I will get round to fixing my original one one day. But for now, here he is, and yep, he is number five for last year. In fourth place, I have Rapunzel, who was a special run from Briarfest 2022. Because I was attending virtually last year, I didn't have access to any se uh, special run models, but I was able to purchase a Gambler's Choice for extra, um, I think it was a hundred dollars, um, so it was more than they were kind of retailing for, but you weren't sure which one you were going to get, as I said it was Gambler's Choice, and I pulled Rapunzel. Although I hadn't thought very much about Rapunzel, I was absolutely blown away when she was delivered. She has really nice metallics in her mane and tail, and her coat is just absolutely spot on. I think she is going to make a great little Gymkhana games pony, and yeah, she is definitely in my top five for this year. In third place, we have the decorator or the Halloween horse for last year, Maelstrom. And he was the first model on this mold I'd ever got. And I absolutely adore him. He's actually my first Halloween horse as well. I think Roy did a brilliant job with his coat colour. He kind of goes from green to gold with all of these little pirates hidden in his coat. And yeah, he's just stunning. If anyone has him, then you know just how gorgeous this guy is. And he even glows in the dark really brightly, which is super fun. So yeah, Maelstrom is my third favourite purchase of 2022. For the next two models, I couldn't actually decide who I preferred the most, so I've decided to show them in joint first and second place together. First of all, we have Taho, who was the winter web special for 2022. He's the first kind of web special or raffle model, whatever you'd call it, that I've been chosen for, so I was super excited to get him. He's also the first silver filigree model I've actually seen in person. And let me just tell you, this guy is absolutely stunning. Um, apologies if you can hear people outside. It is the end of school and the kids are leaving and making a lot of noise. Um, but yeah, this is Taho. He is super, super cool. I just adore him, honestly. Like, he is just stunning. I love this and I really want to collect all of them now. Um, yeah, so this is Taho. If you're going to any of the live shows I'm at this year, he's 100% going to be there. So make sure you pop over and say hi. Sharing first place with Taho, we have Silver Comet, who was a huge grail of mine for the longest time. He is on the classic Polo Pony mold, and he is a dapple grey with the resist dappling technique, and he's so cute. He's a little bit wonky on his stand, he's using a candle at the moment, but that doesn't matter, um, he's adorable, I really want them to release more on this mould, I think he's super cute, and Patagonia, who is a special one I believe, is definitely on my I Seek Out, and a massive grail for me as well, I really want all of the models on this mould. These two are my favourite purchases of last year, hands down. I hope you've enjoyed this video and feel free to leave a comment down below with any of your favourite model purchases from 2022. I'd love to hear about them. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye.